Welcome to Mbuya Parent School and Kindergarten, situated in Kampala City with modern well-equipped facilities plus extensive playing fields and amenities. Mbuya Parent School believes that a better future lies where children know how to find and create balances in themselves and the world around them. This explains our fusion of academic subjects and co-curricular activities. There are many opportunities presented to them to flourish both in and outside the classroom. I want to become a president when I grow up. Yeah, I want to be a pilot. I will be the best fashion designer. Mbuya Parent School. The sky is our limit. Hello, our dear children. I welcome you to this second lesson of reading. My name is Adon Caroline, a teacher of primary two. In our last lesson, we talked about, I will learn about A sound. And I remember I left with an activity. And that's what we are going to do right now. Let's go through the activity together and we do the corrections. So the last activity I left you with is here. Number one reads, make words. And these are the sounds where I expected you to make the words from. So our first word is the word saint. Eight, the word saint. And this is what I expected you to write, saint. Saint. Then the second word is this, from this sound here, paid. The word paid. And the last word is fail. You write like this, fail. Okay, let us look at number two. Number two reads, fill in the missing sound. Remember, we were filling in with the sound that we learned that day, and that was sound A. So looking at our first word, I expected you to write the word drain. The word drain. And then number two, you are supposed to fill in sound A and you get the word sail. Sail. And number three, when you fill in here sound A, you will get the word laid. That is correction for number two. Then the last number reads, make a new word by removing the first letter. Make a new word by removing the first letter. So the first word which was given to us was the word snail. If you remove the first letter, and that is letter S, you are going to remain with this new word which is nail. Then you write here, nail. Then our second word was paid. When you remove the first letter, that is letter P, you are going to remain with a new word, aid. Then the last word was brain. The word brain, when you remove the first letter, that is letter B, you remain with a new word, rain. So dear children, these are the answers that I expected you to write from the previous exercise. For those who have got it correct, well done. And those who might have missed out on one number, don't get discouraged. You will still make it in the next lesson. Having done the corrections, we are now going to look at our lesson for today. Like I told you, we are going to have lesson two. Now, in our lesson two, we are going to be looking at, we are going to be looking at alternative sounds of A. Alternative sounds of A. When I say alternative, I mean other ways of sounding A. Last time we looked at this sound, and today we are going to look at other ways 
of sounding A. Dear children, at the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to mention the alternative ways of sounding A. I expect you to be able to read, spell, and write words which have those sounds. Use them in sentences and also identify different words from the words that have A. Before we start our lesson, I just want you to stand up on your feet. Let us sing and prepare ourselves for the lesson. Everybody stand on your feet and we sing. Are we ready? Yes. Okay, let us begin our song. It goes like this. I was brave, brave, brave when I saw a snake as I picked the grapes to bake my cake. I bake my cakes, I bake the cakes, and we all ate it after the game. I was brave, I was brave, brave, brave when I saw a snake as I picked the grapes to bake the cake. I bake the cakes, I bake the cakes. And we all did it after the game. Very good. Now we are ready to start our lesson. And don't worry, you will have a cake at the end of the lesson. If you pay attention, you get all the explanations, and you read the words well to your parents, they are going to make to buy for you a cake and you enjoy. That is the beauty of this lesson. After doing a good work, you are awarded. Okay. Now, let us move on to our lesson for today. Like I told you, we are going to look at alternative sounds of A. And our first alternative sound is sound A. One. Now, this sound is sounded the same way like the one that we learned last time. But... For us to be able to remember this sound very well, today we are going to learn it in a different way. We are going to put these words in what we call the word family. Now, what do I mean by word family children? Word families are groups of words which have some of the same combinations of letters in them and a similar sound. Now, this is what I mean. Let us look at our first example. Our first example, I have this sound here. This is sound d. Everybody say d. Now, when I bring these two letters, this is what I'm calling combinations of letters. In this case, we have two letters. So when I bring these letters together and I put it near our first sound, it's going to make the word day. We shall have the word day. Now the ending sound is A and the beginning sound is D. Now let us have the second example for us to be able to understand. I have this second sound. This is sound, p, sound, p. so when we bring our sound and we put it near, we are going to have the word pay. Everybody say pay. Let's look at the second, ex the third example. The third example, we have this sound here. This is sound, s, sound, so when I bring this sound and I put it near, we are going to have the word say. Say. Let's move on with our next example. This time I have this first sound. This is sound t. Sound t. Then I have this one. It's sound r. So when you read it together, it's going to be true. Now, when we bring our sound, A, 
and we put it near, we shall get the word tray. We shall get the word tray. And this is a tray. This is a tray. We use it at home for putting cups or plates. Then our next example, we have sound. This is sound. And then when I bring this one next to it, this is sound. So we want to read it first. It sounds cl. Then you bring sound A and you put near it, then the word is going to be clay. Now, I want, to under, I want to explain to you what I mean by the same combinations of letters in a family word. So when you look at this group of words, you realize that the, first, the beginning sounds have different sounds, but the ending sound are the same. That is what we mean by a similar sound. And they all have the same letters. They have the same combinations of letters running through them. So this is our first alternative sound. Now let us look at the second alternative sound. Still with this sound, is sounded as A. This one is A. Now, you'll ask yourself, why has teacher written a dash between the two letters? This dash means that there is a missing sound. And the missing sound here is always a consonant sound. Now, let us have an example so that you get to know what I mean by that. For example, we can have the word cake. You can have the word cake. Now, the word cake, this is the missing sound from this sound here. This is the sound which was missing. That is the word cake. And you've looked at the cake when we were having the song. Now, the second word, another example can be Bake. Bake is the same. Let me put, give you another one which is not the same so that you get to know. We can have game. Now, when you look at the word game, you realize that in between letter A and letter E, there is a consonant sound. That is the missing sound which was here. Another example, we can have the word late. You can have the word late. And still here, between these two letters, we have another sound, which is a consonant sound. So when you look at this, you realize that words which take this sound always have a consonant sound in between the two letters. That's why we don't write it the same way like this, because there's a missing sound. Now, to move on, let us also put these words which have this sound the words. Remember, I said family words are those words which have the same, are the words which, family words, are a group of words which have the same combinations of letters and a similar sound. So let us have the first group of the family word with this sound as the AIM family. The AIM family. We are going to list a few examples of words which takes this sound AIM. Now the combination of letters in this one, we have letter a, M, and E. So we are going to list words which have that same letter. So here we are going to have, for example, we shall have the word name. The word name. Shall have the word name. Again, we can still have the second word as same. We can have another example as 
tame. And then we can have the last one as flame, because they are very many. But I'm just going to be using a few examples. So children, this is what I mean when I said the same combinations of letters in a word. Now when we look at this group of words, you realize that the beginning sounds are different, but they have the same ending sound. Aim, all of them. So here we have name, same, tame, and flame. Let's have the sec another group of that family word. Now we are going to have the eighth family. We are going to look at groups of words that falls under the eight that fall under the eight family. Now, the first example, let us have the word gates. That is our first example. We are going to have the word gates. The second one, we shall have this word here. This is the word date. Date. And the third one, we can also have late. The word late. So all these words have the similar ending sounds, but they have different beginning sounds. Now let us have the last one, the last group of words, the family word, and that is the ache family. The ache family. Now, what the, under this, we can have the word lake. We have lake. Then the second one, we have the word make. The third one, we can have the word shake. So these are examples of these word families. So let us read them one more time and then we move to the next activity. Name, same, tame, flame, gate, date, late, lake, make, shake. Now, one interesting thing with this word family is that you can use one word and then you make very many new words from the same word. This is what I mean. You can do that by replacing just the first letter. So for example, let us take the word name. Let us have the word name here. Now, here we have the word name. When we remove this first letter here, we can replace it with any other letter. For example, we can say letter M, and then we shall have a new word, lame. We can move ahead, remove the same letter, the first letter, and then we replace with another letter. Put letter S there, you will get a new word, same. Let's do it here. We have our first word, gate. The first word, gate. When I remove this first letter, replace it with another letter. For example, if I put here letter H, I'm going to make a new word, hate. We can go ahead, remove this letter H, still with the same letters. And then we bring here letter D. We can have a new word, date. The same thing, we can use it here with our first family words. When we have our first word, day, written here, the word day, and then we remove the first letter. 
the first letter, and I replace it maybe with the letter L. We are going to get the word lay. Or I remove it, letter L, I replace it with the letter W, still I'll get a new word, way. So when words are written in their family groups, it's very easy to get more new words from them, and it's also easy for you to spell and to read because they have the similar sounds and also the same letter combinations. Okay, now the next activity that I'm going to do, I just want, I'm going to show you some words here that I've written on the word cards. When you read that words and you see that it has the sound that we have learned today, that is sound A, you are going to put your thumbs up to show that it is the right word. But when the word does not have that sound, so you are going to put your thumbs down. So are we ready? Good. So let us start with our first word. Our first word. This is our first word. And the word is away. Away. Does this word have the sound that we have learned today? Yes. So we are going to put our thumbs up, meaning that it has that same sound. Good. Let me put it here. Let us look at the second word. Our second word is this. Let's read this word together, children. We say crayon. Crayon. Does the word crayon have sound A? Did you hear sound A when you were reading? Yes. So we are going to put our thumbs up because it has sound A. Good. Put it here. Let's look at the next word card. The next word card has this word. This is the word meat. Meat. Does the word meat have sound A? No. So we are going to put our thumbs down. This one does not have sound A. Very good. You see here. Now let us look at the last word card. This is our last word card and it has this word this is the word stay stay does it have sound a yes the word stay has sound a so we put our thumbs up good children that means you have been following now another thing with this group of words sometimes you may be asked that Circle the different word or the different words from this group of words. So the different words from this group of words, when you read the words, for example, away, crayon, meet, and stay, you realize that meet is the different word. So we circle that word. We circle it. So because this one is different. Or you may be asked to tick. Tick the odd word out. Or tick the different word. In this case, still meat is the different word. So you go ahead and you tick. When you are told to tick, you tick. Or you may also be asked to underline. Underline the odd one out or underline the different word. So you still use the same. You are going to underline this word like that. So you can be asked different questions but still meaning the same thing. So children, up to this far that we have reached, I believe by this time you are able to mention the alternative sounds of A. You are able to read, spell and write the words. You can also use them in sentences and also identify the different words in the sound. Now, I just want to leave you with one word chart that will help you to practice. This one, you are going to read it at your free time. This word chart is for you for practice. You are going to 
read that one on your own as you practice how to read the sound A and its alternative sounds. But before I leave, I have an activity that I've prepared for you. I'm going to put it up. So this is the activity that I want you to do for me. Number one, we are going to read number one. Number one says, underline the odd one out. So you are going to read through these words. You identify the odd one out and you underline. The number two says, read and draw. Still, you will read and then you draw for me. The number three, question number three says, replace the first sound with another one to make a new word. Replace the first sound with another one to make a new word. And these are the words. So you replace the first one with another one and you make for me a new word here. Okay, children, as you are going to do this work, I just want to encourage you to write well. Remember handwriting, remember handwriting is very paramount when you are going to do a neat work. Thank you very much. Stay home, stay safe.